Yo guys, welcome to your 12th PSD to WordPress tutorial and in this video we're going to install a blank theme to work with. Okay then guys, so we know to change the theme we go to appearance and then themes, right? So right here we can add a new theme and if we do that what it's going to do is ask us in a minute to upload a new theme, right? Or if we wanted to we could install any of these ones that people upload to WordPress. These are themes that other people have designed and you can get premium ones or free ones. More often than not, when I get a PSD from a client, then I wanna start my own theme. So I wanna start with a blank template, all right? And to do that, we're gonna install a blank theme, not one of these pre-made ones. So if you wanna head over to underscores.me, this is a neat little uh, web tool that enables you to create a new theme uh, gives you a few different options and it just gives you the bare minimum that you need to get started okay so that's what I like to do now all you need to do is put your theme name in here and our site's called resto so we'll put that in if we want we can click advanced options and it's going to give you different options here I'll put author uh, net ninja uh, author URI you can put your website in there if you want I'll just put HTTP oops forward slash forward slash the god I can't type ninja.co.uk uh, description anyway you can sassify if you want which to do which is to do with sass um, whatever you want to fill out there you can do just keep it simple for now press generate and this is going to download your theme package right there okay simple as so now we've done that all you want to do is go to here and click upload theme choose a file and then this is the thing we've just downloaded it's a zip folder so you don't need to unzip it you just choose that and it's going to unzip it for you when it installs it so click install now and you can see unpacking installing theme installed successfully all right so return to the themes page and we're going to see resto right here but at the minute it doesn't have a thumbnail and um, we're going to have a look at that shortly for now if we just click activate okay there we go now that is the active theme so you remember what it looked like before it looks something like this right here now if I visit the site it's going to look so much better <laughs> right so this is what I mean by blank theme it's not styled at all and yet it's ugly but now we've got a blank canvas so that we can build upon this um, and build the design that we want rather than play around with other people's designs and styles We've just got the bare minimum required to make this theme. Okay, and I just want you to, uh, to see in the www directory where our theme has been installed so this is the root directory if you go into WP content then themes you can see now resto is a folder in there and these are the three uh, these three themes right here okay, so if we open this folder, these are all the files that we're gonna to need to create that theme. So that's what it's downloaded for us, and that what that's what we've installed into WordPress, right? So I'm gonna go through all of these different files later on as we go on through the course. Um, in fact, I'll probably do a whirlwind tour of them in a tutorial coming up very soon. But first of all, what I wanna do in the very next tutorial is show you how to create a thumbnail for this thing right here, okay? So we'll do that in the next tutorial. If you have any questions about this one, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise guys, I'll see you in that next tutorial.